So TNA's biggest pay-per-view of the year, Bound for Glory, just finished up a little bit ago. And I must say, uh, this was actually my first Bound for Glory experience. I really ignored and kind of scrutinized this company for a number of years prior to this. Uh, I kind of take it all back. Bound for Glory actually not only exceeded my expectations, but whenever you compare it to... WrestleMania of this year, which is of course the biggest show by their main rivals, the WWE, Bound for Glory actually was better, in my opinion, than WrestleMania. Now, a lot of you out there will probably be saying, how can you say that? The WWE's WrestleMania from this year featured The Undertaker versus Shawn Michaels, one of the greatest matches of all time, blah, blah, blah. And here's my simple and very concise reply to you, and that is this. Bound for Glory was a more consistent show from start to finish than WrestleMania. Yes, WrestleMania had a damn good matchup between Shawn Michaels and The Undertaker that will go down in history as one of the greatest matchups of all time, whether that be from the company itself or by you, the fans. I'm going to actually guess the latter. Bound for Glory was a more consistent show from start to finish. It started off strong, and it did not die down. There were a couple of hiccups along the way in a couple of the matchups. There was a, a, a unique blown spot between Abyss and Mick Foley uh, in their Monsters Ball matchup that involved a botched three count. There was what appeared to be an apparent botch in the AJ Styles Sting title match, but it still remains to be seen if... What we got for a finish was supposed to be the real finish. It didn't look like it, uh, but they covered for it very well. Really hands down whenever it comes to the actual way that it was done and the way that the performers performed, it was a better show, hands down, than WrestleMania. And I told you this was going to be brief, but uh, bravo, TNA. Bravo. Uh, I was impressed. Take care, guys.